Wow, this story is truly eye-opening and highlights the interconnectedness of crime across borders. It all started innocently enough with an Indonesian couple attempting to exchange 10,000 Singapore dollar notes for chips at a casino in Singapore. Little did they know, this seemingly routine transaction would set off a chain of events leading to the bust of a fake currency syndicate in Indonesia. According to the Singapore Police Force, SPF, the couple's attempt caught the attention of authorities on September 21, 2023. The casino staff suspected that the 10,000 Singapore dollar notes provided by the couple might be counterfeit. When confronted, the couple produced another 10,000 Singapore dollar note for verification, which only raised more suspicions. The casino wisely decided to hold onto the notes and handed them over to Singapore's Commercial Affairs Department, CAD, for further investigation. What's truly fascinating is how this incident unfolded. It was discovered that the couple had traveled from Batam to Singapore on the same day, and the two notes they presented were allegedly received from a business associate in Batam as payment for a business transaction. Their intention? To use the notes for gambling at the casino, a common practice among those seeking to convert large sums of cash into casino chips. Fortunately for the couple, no further action was taken against them. The authorities determined that there was insufficient evidence to suggest that the couple were aware that the notes they possessed were counterfeit. This decision was made after consulting with the Attorney General's chambers. However, the story doesn't end there. Thanks to the cooperation between Singaporean and Indonesian authorities, a total of four Indonesian men were arrested in connection with the counterfeiting operation. The raids conducted in Riau and West Java provinces between November 15 and 20, 2023, led to the seizure of 390 allegedly fake 10,000 Singapore dollar banknotes. This case also sheds light on Singapore's efforts to combat money laundering and terrorism financing. In 2014, Singapore announced its decision to stop issuing 10,000 Singapore dollar notes, followed by a cessation of 1,000 Singapore dollar notes in 2020. These measures are part of the country's broader strategy to tighten its anti-money laundering controls and prevent illicit financial activities. So, what should you do if you ever come across a fake banknote? The SPF provides clear guidelines, immediately contact the police at 999, Note down detailed descriptions of the person who presented the counterfeit note and any associated vehicles, limit handling of the suspected counterfeit note, and hand it over to the authorities as soon as possible. This story serves as a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance and cooperation in combating financial crimes. Let's all do our part to ensure the integrity of our financial systems and stay vigilant against counterfeit activities. What are your thoughts on this story? Have you ever encountered a situation involving counterfeit currency? Share your experiences in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more engaging content on current events and societal issues.